What is going on, guys? It's your boy Revs, and today I'm um, bringing you a tutorial again. Finally, I know, right? I'm getting a little bit better with the tutorial uploads. Um, right now, we got a sick little cinematic in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to make kind of like a particle trail or like a fiery kind of thing um, coming from behind him. And I mean, it's not really that bad of an effect to use on like plain running man cinematics, like char running character cinematics. So I thought I would just, you know, like it's not really too hard. All you need is a particular and a sexy, slow, smooth cinematic. Um, I'm using Black Ops 2 because I couldn't get anybody to get a Advanced Warfare one with me. Um, this works just like on Advanced Warfare, so, you know, let's go ahead and get up into this. First, you want to get your cinematic, and you want to trim it up and everything like that. Now, we are going to be doing some masking around this character, so you will kind of need to, like, slow it down at some point, unless you want to, you know, sit there and work on the... Uh, masking the whole time, which there's nothing wrong with that. Just it matters on how fast you need this effect to be done. Like if you're just crunching up an edit and you want something to be really cool and you want it to be, you know, pretty fast, then you know this might not be so good for you. But or you can, you know, just zoom it in to where it's only showing like him, like only a little bit of him. And that would cut down on your uh, rotoscoping that you need to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm just going to pick a nice little part in our cinematic. Right here. Now, what you're going to do is make a new solid. Control Y. I'm just going to make it a black one. Name this uh, particles. Go to your effects presets, look up particular. Alright, now we have our, you know, regular old particle thing. Like this is what always pops up whenever you drag on part particular. Emitter. Um, the only thing we want to change for right now is make it a sphere instead of a point. You can change up the size a little bit. Um, I drag up the Z space quite a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep that still. I probably make it like 1 to 20 right now. Um, this, you want to make it kind of fill up the area in which you want the fire. So if you want um, like only the particles to come from like the middle of his back, you want the particles to only be around that area. See how that works. All right. Particles. You can make the size a uh, not point three. Gosh dang it. Make it three. Um, I wouldn't mess with the opacity of randoms yet. But if you want, you can, you know, adjust it to what you want. Go down to physics. You want to mess with the gravity. I think we can do a little bit faster than that. So make it like negative, maybe negative 50. a little bit better. I mean, fire rises pretty fast. All right. Negative 210. We're just going to go with that. That looks a little bit better. You can always adjust the point. Uh, go ahead and go to air. And you want to mess with the wind. So wind X, whichever way you want the, whichever way you want the fire to kind of go off to. Um, 
little line to kind of go off to the right and kind of flow backwards a little bit. Alright, now from here you're going to raise up the particles. I'm actually going to drop my emitter size. Maybe raise my velocity. Or, yeah, my velocity on it. Alright. Okie dokie. Let's change the color. Now I'm going to have mine kind of like <clears throat> in between a red, or not a red, but a yellow, and a kind of lean towards the orange a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to put some glow on it. Make it A and B colors. Then from here, kind of make it that, you know, that fiery. That fire kind of texture. Or that fiery glow. I don't know. All right. Now, this doesn't look like fire one bit, and I know that. Um, now, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add some blurs. Go to your effects presets and look up CC Vector Blur. Raise the amount. I actually like going negative sometimes, so I always try that out. I'll try going negative. And uh, change the natural to perpendicular. And we'll go we'll go positive this time. Positive 15, 16, you know, whatever. Maybe a little bit higher if you want to. That way, I don't know. It kind of looks more grainy, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, map softness. You want to raise that up at least a little bit, about 20%. You lower that a little bit. Right. About 45. All right. Um, some people, I know some people have a, they'll duplicate their CC vector blur, go back to natural, and then they'll mess with the map softness a little bit. You know, just to make it a little bit more organic looking. Um, and then after that, we will add a, a Gaussian blur. Make that go up just a little bit. And then from here, start closing some of these things up. Like this is basically our, our fire. Now I know fire has that kind of, uh, you know, it's got those points on it and stuff whenever you look at it. Um, but, I mean, this is this is Call of Duty, guys. Like, this isn't supposed to be the most amazing, realistic fire. But, I mean, it kind of does look really tight. It looks like a really organic and depth of field kind of fire. Which is also what we're going to be adding as well. But we're going to get onto that at the end. Um... Now, we'll, now that we got like our fire basically, you know, set up and everything, let's go ahead and start adding our um, our mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut off the particles, and I'm going to select the clip layer, and I'm just going to kind of mask around it. And yes, this is going to be a crappy, crappy mask because I I get really tired of masking things like because I like to mask almost all my effects because I don't like it whenever an effect affects the whole screen like because that just gets kind of annoying and it looks kind of stupid to me so I, I kind of like to just use effects on certain things in the uh, in the uh, clip alright so as you guys can see it went black Duplicate that uh, clip layer, go to the bottom one, press M, and then just delete that mask. You can turn on the particles. Now add the 
masked clip uh, above the particles and then feather it out a little bit like 10 or 11 and now as you guys can see you know it's kind of coming from behind him alright now what you want to do is you want to go to M mask path and here is you know basically what I was talking about it matters on how much like time you want to put into this uh, if you want this to be kind of rushed then this probably won't turn out as well as you think I mean it's gonna look pretty cool but you know you gotta take your time on this effect it's kind of one of those effects where you gotta really take your time on it and I know a lot of people they you know ain't nobody got time for that but I mean if you want to go somewhere with all this editing that you're doing you know you gotta you gotta figure out the time that you want to spend on these edits and I mean really me like I've just got to like you can find it too in yours there's just a certain area in which you really need to work on mine's coming off his right side so I just really need to make sure that that right side is nice and uh, masked out just perfectly like that's really a, the big part about it um, from here, I'm actually going to go to my particles, and I think, or actually, okay, I like that one a little bit better, that one's pretty tight, maybe mess with my glow a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna actually make this more of a red, and then make this one kind of like a yellow. Yeah, it looks kind of like lava. Yeah, this is kind of the fun part about it. You know, I'm just sitting here messing with it. You know, having some fun. Just figuring out what kind of style you want. Um, you can also add a new camera. Uh, 50 millimeters, all right, I guess. And then you can add some depth of field if you want. I'm not the best with the After Effects depth of field camera. Like, like I'm just god awful at it. For like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm just horrible at getting the depth of field right on this camera. I don't use it a lot. I usually just mask out around it and, you know, like I would do Gaussian blur on, you know, that. That would be my depth of field. You know what I mean? Like I'm just, I'm just horrible with uh, depth of field on uh, the After Effects camera. But anyways, guys, like this is basically, a, this is basically it. To be honest, like. Um, you know, just spend some time on this. You know, don't rush it. Like that's like one of the big parts about it. Um, if you do rush it, just make sure that your masking on the thing is as perfect as it can be, or else then it's gonna look kind of choppy and blah blah blah. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. Um, if you, and if there's just too much blur going on, just take off one of the CC vector blurs, um, or take off the Gaussian blur, or dumb down the Gaussian blur. Um, you know, it's all up to you. You know, it's all up to what you prefer, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a pretty badass effect, I can't lie. Um, obviously, you don't even have to make it look like fire, you can make it look like smoke. Um, I'm gonna make this look a little bit better so we can have a little bit better viewing experience. Okay, so you can go to your particles. 
Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off that glow real quick. And you know you can do that. Maybe up the size a little bit. Maybe make it a little bit brighter. You know, make it look more like smoke. And you can also, you know, mess with the physics as well, you know, if you don't want it going up that fast, blah, blah, blah. Or if you want it to go to the other side, like just directly behind them. You know, it's all Gucci. But I mean, I don't know. Wow, that's pretty tight. I cannot lie. I don't know. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of like a ball is chasing him, but still, it's pretty tight. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to click the like button. Um, this one is something that you don't see a lot but it's something that's you know it's not really hard to do but I don't see it a lot so I thought I'd just show you guys how to do it <coughs> and it decides to do that at the end of it but uh, anyways guys if you enjoyed this like I said leave a like it always tells me that I'm heading in the right direction with these videos and these tutorials and stuff like that if you want to see more of these or any other videos from me go ahead and subscribe you don't have to I'm not telling you to and all that uh, just a lot easier to keep a keep in touch and everything and if you guys want any updates on any further or if you just want to suggest a video you know hit me up on Twitter I'm always on Twitter I always reply to anybody on Twitter I, that's like my main place to go to get a hold of you guys um, I might get like a kick or you know make a Skype or I might just give out my Skype I just don't want people like that need edits to be spamming me so I haven't done that already but if you guys have any suggestions, just hit me up on there and I'll, I'll jump right on it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll see you next time, alright? Later.